Hey Pisces, welcome to your love reading for August 12th to the 21st for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I don't know what's going on with water signs today, but when I do my readings, like I pick a day to do like an element. Sometimes I try to fit in two elements if I need to. I might, it might be one of those days, but I was starting with water signs and I always like to go from the youngest sign to the oldest. So I always like to go Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, just like Aries, Leo, Sag, you know, etc. And when I tried to do Cancer, Scorpio pulled me, like SOSing me like Taurus did a couple months ago. And when I was doing the partner reading for Scorpio, you guys started SOSing me. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? What's going on? Pisces. For those, wait, first of all, hi, newbies. Hi. Those have been with me for a while. I'm no longer doing pre-shuffle sessions. I usually, as you probably saw in the last Pisces video. Okay. So I always go to my meditative sessions. Let's get into it. Then we'll get into the reading. Pisces you are in such high priestess energy I'm loving it I'm loving it a lot of moon energy a lot of intuitive energy going on something they showed me that first kind of put me off and then I I kind of got into what they were showing me and then I it started to make sense they actually showed me like you know how bears try to eat fish <laughs> well it's you know one of their main foods right that's what they showed me like a bear trying to eat some fish out of a river but sometimes they're not that good at it they that's what they were showing me and at first I was like oh no <laughs> what's going on with my Pisceans now but I don't think it's a bad thing I feel like someone's trying to catch you Pisces I feel like someone's trying to catch up to you catch up to you intercept you that's like I feel like Pisces you are just on the move you're moving ahead you are going through a lot of progression in your life and you're really enjoying yourself and because of that you're very much in your own energy in that high priestess energy in that intuitive energy Pisces but someone feels like they can't catch you, like they can't get their hands on you. Uh, you could be dealing with a bear person or you could have a bear as an animal totem. Bears are usually about like power, will, that strength, right? It's usually also about protective energy, like very like, not to, you know, play on the phrase, but mama bear, right? That kind of strength, that kind of will, that kind of motivation. Um, but it's a bit of a quiet strength. It's a, a quiet strength. And sometimes bears can also represent a time of hibernation, a time to kind of take a time out and take things slow. You know, bears can actually run very fast. But, you know, they do have that phase of time every year where they have to take that time out, right? Um, so just keep that in mind if any of that energy resonates with you as an animal totem. But yeah, Pisces, I just feel like someone's trying to catch you. Someone's trying to catch you. And at the same time, Pisces, I feel like your intuition is so intense right now, especially because of Lionsgate. You know, you're just naturally intuitive. So anyone who's naturally intuitive or has naturally intuitive signs in their chart, energy about them, are going through some major stuff regarding their own gifts and spirituality. You are no... Um, it, you are no exception to that okay and I feel like you're trying to make sense of the information that's coming to you trying to make sense of what your intuition's telling you just because I feel like it's telling you a lot it's telling you a lot and I feel like you are kind of sitting and trying to make sense of it but yeah someone's yeah Pisces someone's trying to catch you someone's definitely trying to catch you um they're patient though they're very patient they might even be an earth sign that not necessarily but it does feel very earthy and bears do have to be patient. Like if you've ever seen footage of bears trying to catch fish, it's actually quite adorable. I love looking at footage like that. But you are dealing with someone who is trying to be patient about it. But they've been at it for a while, Pisces. And I think maybe you are coming into knowledge about that because your intuition is really peaking so intensely right now. I actually feel like... <coughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Let me get some water. <coughs> mm. Mm. <clears throat> excuse me Pisces I actually feel like your energy is very quiet because you're trying to make sense of what is trying to come to you intuitively okay um, but Pisces let's go ahead and get into your energy here let's get into your reading um, for anybody who has any questions curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer please check out the link below if you do have questions I urge you to go there now because more likely than not your questions will be answered okay and it'll make the reading a lot easier for you to un understand Okay, Pisces, let's do this. Any messages for Pisces regarding love, August 12th to the 21st? I'm getting a download, Pisces. Um, this person is trying to catch you. They've been in your life before in a very significant way. Or trying, again, this energy of trying to catch up to you. Some are just trying to catch up to where you are now in your growth and your progression. They feel a little, for some, they feel a little left behind and they're trying to catch up to where you are. 
others this energy of trying to catch you hold on to you claim you come back like come back is actually coming back is coming to me it's coming back to me <laughs> come back pisces come back um i feel like this person like went their own way like took their own path i feel like they initiated a separation of some kind whether it was a natural progression or not and they became very burdened by this they became very burdened by the path that they chose to take feels like a detour feels a little bit like a detour any messages for pisces keep in mind guys this doesn't have to be just about love it can also apply to family friends or work okay so keep that in mind any messages for pisces regarding love august 12th to the 21st you're too fast for them pisces that's what my guys are telling me you're too fast for this person right now any messages for pisces if they didn't take that detour you wouldn't have had such a head start that's what they're telling me why are they so sassy today they're very sassy today <laughs> yeah if, if you didn't take that detour you, pisces wouldn't have gotten a head start which isn't really a head start but you know what i mean anyway any messages for pisces regarding love august 12th to the 21st Any messages for Pisces regarding love, August 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love, August 12th to the 21st? Oh, what did I say? You're too fast, Pisces. They cannot catch up to you. 801 Sagittarian energy. They're trying, though. Oh, man, they're trying, Pisces. Uh, they could even be traveling, or you could be doing some traveling during this time, Pisces. But I do feel like this is wanting to take action towards you, wanting to move towards you. They're trying. They're trying so hard to catch up to you, to catch you, to intercept you. Um, some of you are making some serious moves in your life. And I do feel this energy of like time is of the essence. And this is only for some of you where this person's like trying to catch you, trying to catch up to you. Of like, God damn it, I got to catch Pisces before they leave kind of energy. Let's see. <laughs> <coughs> sorry Pisces give me a minute that came out of nowhere they got a lot to say whoever's trying to catch you claim you intercept you they got a lot to say mm. <clears throat> I just heard a text isn't gonna do it the text isn't gonna do it any other messages for Pisces regarding love August 12th to the 21st Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we got Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Why do I feel like it's a someone standing in the way? Really hard to not feel that way. It's like they're trying to catch you. They're trying to intercept you. But all of a sudden I feel this block and it's a person. It's definitely a person like in the way of this forward movement, in the way of intercepting you. It's a it's yeah, it's almost like someone standing in the doorway like where do you think you're going <laughs> you're not going to pisces like that's kind of how it feels sorry that's like i'm getting a lot of energy from you guys for some you guys must be on like b12s or something feel a lot of energy coming off of you did you just have an energy drink what's up pisces someone's literally standing in the doorway literally standing in the doorway very jealous very ticked off too i mean i'm more ticked off than anything but for some this is someone who's jealous wow wow nine of cups in reverse piscean energy disappointment oh okay i kind of feel for this person now whoever's standing in the doorway pisces of this person trying to claim you trying to catch up to you this person's been slowing okay we got three people involved in this now pisces so hang in there with me whoever this is to the person that's trying to intercept you They've been slowing this person down from intercepting you. That's why they can't catch you. That's why they can't catch up to you because they're literally standing in the doorway trying to stop this person from doing that because they feel like they're losing their wish fulfillment in this. They're not happy about the situation, Pisces. Whatever kind of situation this is for you, keep in mind when there's three people involved or more than two energies involved, you could be any of these energies, okay? So keep that in mind, cross watchers. Um, but yeah, this person is, okay, we'll just call them the queen of wands to not confuse anybody. The Queen of Wands is standing in this person's way to get to you, to claim you, to catch up to you. And they're slowing this person down intentionally because the Queen of Wands feels like 
they're losing their wish fulfillment and they're not happy. They're not happy. I just heard I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Oh. I heard that, Pisces. I just heard Jury's out on that one. <laughs> you guys are funny today. Any other messages for Pisces regarding love? August 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? August 12th to the 21st. Oh, it's so funny. Jury's out on that one. And now we have justice. <laughs> I love the way this reading is going. Labor energy. I feel so, such positive energy off of you, Pisces. I really like it. I really like it. Justice is going to happen. Pisces, whoever's trying to claim you, catch up to you, intercept you, catch you, whatever. Justice is going to happen. Whatever justice is, whatever justice needs to play out in this situation, even if this person tries as hard as they can to stand in that doorway and get bigger and bigger in that doorway, whatever is supposed to happen is going to happen. I almost feel like spirit's taking over the situation for some of you. I wouldn't be surprised if we get temperance out here. Oh, 11, 11 as I looked up at the camera. Um, yeah, I would not be surprised if we see temperance here because I feel a little bit of uh, divine intervention happening here. Because this person hasn't backed down, and I'm almost getting that they need to, to be honest, Pisces. I'm almost getting this person needs to back down, and they haven't learned their lesson. E. For some, this person might be getting karma handed back to them. They haven't learned their lessons. They've been resisting. I think that's why there's a little bit of divine intervention, because this person has to learn, is what I'm getting. This person has to learn to let be, to let things be. This person doesn't know how to let things be. This person likes to control situations and control people for their own benefit. They haven't learned that that, that that doesn't work. Overall energy, we have Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Underneath that, we do have Three of Swords, Libra energy, pain, and third-party situations. Then we've got, oh, Pisces. I definitely feel like this is your energy. Look at all this. Look at all this. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water with the Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Pisces, this person who's been trying to intercept you, look, they're in reverse, they can't. They can't because this person is standing in the doorway. Literally standing in the doorway, trying to slow them down, trying to slow them down from catching you, from catching up to you, almost getting like a wily e. Coyote energy with that. That's so weird. God, I haven't seen that cartoon in forever since I was probably like... How old? I don't know. Maybe even like six. God, like a well, well over 20 years ago. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, almost like Wiley e. Coyote energy where it's like they keep trying to intercept you. But instead of you causing these little obstacles, it's this person like laying out the traps, you know. Um, they are very much hurting Pisces because they look at you as the perfect partner. The perfect partner, the perfect spouse, someone who's a great manifester, someone who makes shit happen, someone who's also very nurturing can get shit done. Get shit done with a with a touch of tact, with a touch of grace. Whether you're a man or a woman, Pisces, that's how they see you. They see you as like, that is my person. I need my person. I'm getting my person because this is too painful. This is too painful. This third party situation is not working in my favor. Um, I need to do something. I need to catch up. But the, clearly in reverse, they can't right this is their overall energy really much hurting over you they also see you pisces as like very much again making a lot of moves making a lot of moves and growing a lot pisces you're the empress you had to do a lot to become the empress emperor and empresses just aren't born as empresses and emperors right they gotta go through a lot of shit to get there and they see you as being perfect in your own image what's that about perfect in your own image that was really weird. That's what they just gave me. Perfect in your own image. I don't know what that's about. Take that as it resonates. They're trying to catch up and they can't because of the stupid third party situation and this person standing in the door. It doesn't have to be someone that they're romantically involved with, but I got to be honest, Pisces, I feel like for a lot of them it is. For some, it could just be a meddler. You know, it could just be a meddler, but it's someone who's jealous. It's someone who's mad. Someone who feels like they're losing their wish fulfillment. And I got to be honest, like, if you feel like you're losing your wish fulfillment, that's a, that's a really kind of shitty feeling to feel. You know, and some people have a hard time coping with that. And this person's having a hard time coping with it. And they're standing in this person's doorway from claiming you, from catching you. Little fishy. <laughs> but justice is going to happen. Whatever justice is in this situation for you, it will happen. So let's look at the eight of wands and see everything they want to say. And I feel like it's more about making moves as opposed to just talking. I do feel like it's about actually physically catching up to you 
being around you, claiming you. I feel like it's more like that energy. Um, using Rider Waite to clarify. Talking about Eight of Wands. For Pisces, regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Talking about Eight of Wands. For the partner of Pisces, August 12th to the 21st. Eight of Wands for the partner of Pisces, August 12th to the 21st. Talking about Eight of Wands for the partner of Pisces, August 12th to the 21st. Okay. Talking about Eight of Wands for Pisces regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Talking about Eight of Wands for Pisces. They're blocked. Pisces, look at that. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. They are blocked. And they're blocked by this person. Blocked by this person. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I also feel for some of you, this, this person who's blocking your, your Knight of Cups here, this Queen of Wands, I feel like some of them are drinking a lot too. Ew, that's, that's, oh, I just got a really ugly image. That is not pretty. Um, like angry drunk. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, they're blocked and they can't figure out how to catch you because of this person. Tell me about Eight of Wands. Woo! Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. King of Wands in reverse, Leo. Oh, please focus. There we go. Leo energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, look at this. They're blocked and figuring out how to actually physically catch up to you, physically claim you. But the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and King of Wands in reverse, I feel like this person's not putting any energy into their current situation with this person. And they are they are a pair. I mean, they are cut from the same cloth, Pisces. I'm just being honest with you here. But King of Wands in reverse, they're not taking action or putting any energy into this queen because, you know, they're so focused on trying to catch up to you, even though they can't figure that out because this queen's trying to block them. Does that make sense? So it's almost like, God, I hate to use these words, but this is just what I'm getting. And I'm just the messenger, right? Gotta call it like I see it. I almost like this person's nagging this person, like poking this person. And the more this person nags your king, nags and pokes this king, the more they don't want to put any energy into them. You understand what I'm saying? Like nag, nag, nag distance distance nag 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 distance distance as they try to get closer to you but they can't get to you because this person keeps trying to intercept your king while your king is trying to intercept you that was a crazy little triangle going on here i hope that made sense did that make sense guys oh some of you are still confused okay try one more time this queen is trying to stop this king from catching up to you from claiming you, from dealing with you. But the more this queen tries to do that, the more fed up this king gets. Okay, I felt the light bulb go on. <laughs> the more fed up this king gets, but they're getting frustrated because this person is standing in the door from them catching up to you, okay? But they're getting fed up, I can feel it. They're getting very annoyed. I do feel a lot of arguing between these two. But I feel like one is like very intoxicated while they're arguing. Not for all of you, but for some. And I feel like it's the queen. Yeah, I feel like it's the queen. Tell me about the eight of wands. Tell me about the eight of wands for Pisces regarding love. August 12th to the 21st. Oh, see, yeah, justice in reverse, Libra energy. Yeah, while this whole awful interchange is happening between this king and queen Pisces, you're busy over here being the empress, being all grounded and zen and shit. But this king is feeling the injustice and they want justice and justice will be served. Okay. So what else we have here? Throw them over the eight of wands. Throw them over the eight of wands for Pisces regarding love. August 12th to the 21st. We got two other cards out here. Let's see. Wow. Three of pentacles, Capricorn energy and nine of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. They are sick and tired of this third party situation, but I gotta be honest, Pisces, I'm being drawn to the justice in reverse card. You see how when it's in reverse, the sword is down. When it's upright, the sword is up. This person's not speaking their truth to this queen about you. And that's the problem. Oh, come back. This person's wondering how to get rid of this block. This king literally just has to start speaking their truth of what they really wanna do with you and what they really want, which is you. And they're not doing that. 
which is just making this whole vicious cycle get worse for them. And Pisces, I think you already know that, probably preaching to the choir here, but it's like, how do I right this wrong? How do I get out of this? This is like so imbalanced, this is toxic. They keep nagging me, I'm frustrated. I wanna get away from this person. How do I get away from this person? It's like they're doing everything but speaking the truth about you and their feelings about you. But this energy, they're really sick of it. They're really sick of it and they do wanna discuss um, me creating a foundation with you, Pisces but they're sick of this situation. And Nine of Swords in Reverse, it's like, they don't even have anxiety about this person anymore. I feel like your king might have been under the thumb of this queen a little bit because this tells me there was a lot of anxiety on the part of this king in relation to this queen over here, but no longer. It's like, you can't control me anymore. That kind of energy, you can't control me anymore. You can't tell me what to do. So it's like, they're standing up for themselves, but they're doing everything but speaking the truth about you in this equation. Pisces, and you're just off on your own. You're off on your own, enjoying your life, being zen, getting your intuitive hits, manifesting things, growing as a person, getting better in your career. You've taken yourself out of the equation. Well, energetically, this person still has you in the equation in their head. Does that make sense? Overall energy for the Eight of Wands, look, Two of Cups in reverse. <laughs> Can't Syrian energy. Also loving energy, soulmate energy, but in reverse, it's basically something that needs to be mended. They want to mend this with you, Pisces. I just heard Scorpio. They want to mend this with you, Pisces, but they want to take action towards it and they can't until they speak their truth of how they feel about you to this queen to put a situation to put this situation to end once and for all. Whew. Let's look at justice and then we'll pull some advice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um I'm feeling steampunk. Let's do steampunk. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. <laughs> Sorry, before we get into justice, they showed me one last visual between this king and this queen. Like, you know, when ki like kids, when they don't want to hear something, they like put their fingers in their ears and like, la, 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 la. It's like, I saw, <laughs> I saw this king doing that. I don't think they're actually doing this to the, to the queen, but I think that's what they're doing in their head. Like, oh my God, I don't hear you. Like, la, 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 la. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's kind of funny. Oh, let me get some water. Mm. And Pisces, you're just busy being a fish, sw swimming to the towards your next phase of life. Just la di da, enjoying yourself. Tell me about justice. Trying to figure out some of your intuitive hits for sure, though. Definitely, but still very much like feeling good, and very removed from from this, from that. <clears throat> Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice. I just heard if we could only talk. <clears throat> so I just heard Pisces. It's definitely coming from this king. If only we could talk. And I think it's in relation to you. Tell me about justice. <laughs> just as I said that, page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Uh, I definitely like this about communication. Wanting to come out from hiding as well. Wanting to come out from behind this block of the Queen of Wands and this third party situation. But physically wanting to extend themselves. Physically. Physically, Pisces. Wanting to extend themselves to you if we could only talk. If we could only sit down and talk. They are trying to keep tabs on you in any way they can. But I have a feeling this Queen has been very restrictive with them. But like I said, it's like they're an energy of like, you can't control me anymore. You have no power over me anymore. But at the same time, they're still not speaking their truth about you. So they may think this queen doesn't have power over them, but in a way they do, because they, they're not speaking their full truth. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love. Wow, 10 of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. How do I get this stability back? How do I get the stability with Pisces? 
they're looking at what they've lost with you and what could potentially be what could have been oh, focus what could have been what some had and lost with you for some it's also a family vibration you know i feel a little bit of divorce energy going on here for some of you where maybe this is a you know someone like your ex-husband your ex-wife or maybe they have to divorce this queen of wands i am feeling that for some of you for sure if that's the case i do feel like they're kind of like bound up in legal stuff which is also like a block as to why they can't come towards you right this block from literally like i i, I can't get past this third party situation yet because of legality that's only for a couple of you but yeah, really examining what could have been and what's been lost for some. Tell me about justice. It's all about stability. It's all about stability. Tell me about justice for Pisces. Regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice. Wow. Four swords in reverse, Libra energy, a major need to go within, a major need to heal. They, oh, this, yeah. It's like they're looking at what was lost for some and what could be for others between you, between you and this king, Pisces. And it's like, God, there's a lot of repair that needs to happen here. There's a lot of repair that needs to happen here. It's like they're almost like making a plan, Pisces, of like A, B, C, D, E, what needs to happen in order to get that stability back. For those that are going through a divorce right now, whether this king is going through a divorce with you or no, not with you, with this queen, yeah, you guys, you and this king are not going through a divorce um, unless you're the queen of wands. Yeah, this king and queen of wands, for some, they're going through a divorce and they're going to need some time after that to recover. So just know that Pisces, that even though they want to come towards you, they have to get over these, they have to get through these legal proceedings and then rest up a little bit before they can come towards you. And others, it's just about repairing what could have been or what's been lost between you and this king. Okay. See what else we can get with justice. If it's a divorce between the king and the queen, it's going to go in the king's favor. Tell me about justice. For Pisces, I just heard Libra. Tell me about justice. For Pisces. Regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Tell me more about justice. Got one other card? Wow, yeah, star in reverse, Aquarian energy, major need to heal and recover. Major need for this person to heal and recover after divorce proceedings. Others, it's also just to heal this connection. Heal this connection. For some, this king might need a little time after they get out of this horrible cycle. It feels like a cycle. After they get out of the cycle with this queen, for some, this is a karmic situation. After they get out of the cycle with this queen, for some, they're going to need a timeout to heal and recover and be ready to, to catch up to you fully. On the bottom of the deck, we have, oh yeah. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Overall energy for justice, five of cups. Over what I say, over what's been lost. Over what's been lost. Scorpionic energy underneath that. Oh yeah, there's temperance. <laughs> Sagittarian energy. My divine intervention card, my fix it angel card, healing energy. They've been very sad, Pisces, over having to be distant from you. They've been very, very sad about it. Very sad about their situation with having to deal with the Queen of Wands. Um, they Again, I was doing that detour energy. They're getting back on track, Pisces, and they are going through some healing with this whole process, this whole situation. They will eventually, once they speak their truth to the Queen of Wands, and can finally move away from the Queen of Wands, especially after legal proceedings are wrapped up for those where that's a part of your situation. But there's divine intervention here a little bit to make sure this queen finally learns the lessons they need to learn. But like, a lot of resistance from that queen to do that. Either way, healing and balance will happen here in this situation and justice will be served. Okay, let's get some advice, Pisces. Like I said, though, you guys are in such a good place. Look how good you guys are looking. <laughs> oh, something about your skin too, Pisces. Something about your skin. Yeah, your skin's glowing. Hey, get it. All right. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans? regarding this spread you've been doing a lot of self-care pisces like the pisceans i'm tapped into with this energy you've been doing a lot of self-care a lot of focusing on you it's really beautiful energy really loving on yourself and being loyal to yourself i also feel like setting healthy boundaries as well like i feel like you've pushed a lot of people out of your environment that really were not serving you and you're fine with that it's actually helped you grow a lot 
Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice? Oh, got a big ass chunk here. Oh, <laughs> Dragonfly Spirit, Truth Transcends Illusion. 22, energy of 22. This is a very intuitive, heavy card. Like I said, Pisces, you're getting major, major downloads. Okay, your intuition's on point. You're very balanced in your energy. You're feeling really pretty damn good right now. And that's the first time I've actually noticed the crown on top of that dragonfly. It just screams high priestess to me that high priestess energy you're so balanced look at all those colors you have the root colors like the sacral energy you got a little solar down here you've got a lot of heart chakra energy you've got those blues and like almost light purples on the ends you're very aligned you're very balanced like i said you're feeling pretty damn good you are the truth you emulate the truth you speak the truth you speak the truth this person needs to speak the truth as well okay truth clears up everything this person has this block of the Queen of Wands, whatever, the only thing that's going to get this Queen of Wands out of the picture is speaking the truth and for others getting through a legal situation, okay? Oh my God, I didn't even realize these were the other two cards. Look at that. Hummingbird Spirit, be here now. 34, breaking down to a seven. And Canary Spirit, sing your own song. 12, breaking down to a three. three and, uh, seven and a three, make a 10. Cycles, closing this chapter out. This person, that's exactly what this person needs to do. They need to speak their truth now. Uh, what I say, what do I say every time I get the hummingbird? Not to not tomorrow, not a month from now, not a year from now, not six months from now, now, right now. They need to start speaking their truth. I hope some of them are watching because that's what they need to do. Let's see what else we have here. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Cool. Oh. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Oh my goodness, you guys are getting a lot of cards. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Ah, I love that one. All right, so we have Frog Spirit, clear out the clutter, 28 cyclical energy. This person needs to get rid of this block. It's very clear. They need to get rid of this block. They need to heal, right? We already have that energy. They really need to heal and find their own balance. And they're only going to do that by healing their wounds, purging this queen out of their life. Um, oh my God. Why do I feel like that's like them holding on to you? <laughs> the little water droplet holding on to you for dear life. They need to. That's what they need to do. Oh, very nice. Pisces, this is definitely an um, advice for you, for my queen of pentacles slash high... Uh, I almost called you high priestess again, empress, um, for my empresses that are watching. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. 47 breaking down to an 11 and grasshopper spirit, uh, take a leap of faith. See that third eye glowing? Pisces, you know. You already know. Your intuition's been telling you about this situation. Your intu intuition's been telling you a shift is coming for you regarding the situation, regarding this king. Taking a leap of faith. I think some of you are getting such intense downloads and intuitive hits that you are trying to make sense of it. Like I said, I picked up on that earlier. So some of you might be hesitant to take a leap of faith with this person when they get out of this and come your way, wanting to heal the situation with you. Um, yeah, some of you are going to be really hesitant. The advice is to go with your instinct, go with your intuition, go with that first response is actually what I'm getting. It's like whatever they initially ask of you or offer you, and then the decision will lie on you. It's whatever feels right in that first second. If it's a hard yes, yes. If it's a no, then no. That very first split second, you're going to know the answer, okay? Let your intuition tell you what's up. Don't overthink what your intuitive hits as well. I think some of you might be overanalyzing what you're seeing in the dream space or maybe what you're getting in your downloads. Don't overanalyze. Just take it as what it is and just sit with it. Don't overanalyze it. Just let it sit in your essence for a little while, okay? It's all about the first instinct, first couple seconds. Don't go down that road of overanalyzation. It's gonna, it's gonna just make things murky for you, okay? And then overall, ah, I freaking love this card. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. I feel like this is actually for both of you. For um, my empresses, 
and my King of Wands in this situation. This King of Wands needs to stand up finally to this queen and just speak the truth, right? Speak the truth about what they actually feel about you, what they really want with you, Pisces, and they need to be fearless about it. They need to just stand in their power. And for those where this is a counterpart situation, they need to stand in their masculine power and just take charge with it. They have to. Pisces, I know, preaching to the choir. My my empresses, you already know that. I know you already know that. But also for, Pi for my empresses, that's also regarding your energy as well. Like I said, some of you are hesitant because you're overthinking what you're getting intuitively because it's a little bit peaking for you right now in a way you haven't experienced before. Don't let that distract you. It's your initial instinct, that initial couple seconds. You already have the answer. Don't overthink it. Be fearless about it. Be fearless about this decision of moving forward or not moving forward, but it's about trusting your intuition and not overthinking your intuition, okay? When you get to a point where your intuition is just very on point, you don't need to sit with it for too long. You understand what I'm saying? You don't need to think about it for too long for it to make sense. It's just what you get right away. Okay, have confidence in that. Oh, Pisces, no wonder you guys were SOS and me too. <laughs> I'm like, where's cancer in all of this? Anyway, Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great week, Pisces. Namaste.